Ladies and gentlemen, the Phil Paleologus Morning Show proudly presents Last Scene. Let's see if I can do this like those movie voiceover guys. Detectives Mason Burns and Andy Moss race against time as men begin vanishing across their small seaside city. How does that sound? What is it? Sounds amazing. <laughs> Sounds amazing. What, do they, what do they call it? A, a voice actor? No, a voice. Yeah. Voiceover. A voiceover. Voice voiceover, yeah. yeah. When Burns becomes one of the missing, Moss' journey to find him not only takes him beyond the borders of his city, but of reality as we know it. Featuring Adam P. Cray's last scene. <laughs> wow, congratulations, folks. I know so many of you know Adam from uh, his uh, background here in the New Bedford area. And uh, we have, of course... Uh, two Devils Lunch, yes, and uh, Homeland. Yep, Homeland, yep. the visitor from uh, planet Omicron, yep. Greek, Greek word, Adam, <laughs> Greek word Omicron, and uh, what else? Tell us more. Well, Last Scene was actually uh, a short film that I uh, right. produced here uh, going on eight years now. That's right. So, yeah, the story's been with me for a while. <laughs> wow. Tell folks before we uh, launch this beautiful book, Last Scene, the, uh, the uh, book version, tell us about the film itself. Uh, well, the short film was done in December of 2007, and it was sort of a spontaneous 24-hour project. Um, we, uh, we had access to this beautiful near-abandoned mill in New Bedford, and... Um, I uh, one one evening I I wrote up a, a page or two of dialogue and uh, a page of thumbnail storyboard sketches and and we set out the next morning around five or six in the morning and and uh, just filmed it. I it, find that so impressive. Oh, wait until you see. I took it. an entire semester on this oh. and I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 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 amazing when you have to uh, cre- create uh, right away spontaneously mm-hmm. and you don't think a lo- think mm-hmm. about it a lot. Uh, it's I I found that when I work on stuff longer that it it, it usually doesn't come out as well sure. as that stuff that comes out impulsively. Mm-hmm. Yes, like well, the first instinctively the first. It has an yeah. energy onto itself. Right. What are you doing with last scene the film? Um, well, right now I have this novel out. It's on available on Amazon.com, and uh, we're doing a, a signing at Gallery X on Sunday at four o'clock. Um, and uh, yeah, I would, I would. It started out as a, a short film, and and uh, morphed into a feature screenplay, and then to a book. And I would love to get it produced eventually as a as a feature film you betcha if you haven't seen last scene the the last time you showed it was at the was it at the z yeah i um i premiered it at the at the zyterian right. um as part of the building bridges to the homeland film festival yeah uh, showed alongside the homeland short film and and then i um i had a screening at uh, artworks and, uh, right. Yes, and that was that was a lot of fun too. Adam's going to be signing books this Sunday, folks. Four o'clock Gallery X. Tell folks uh, if if they're not familiar where where Gallery X is. It's right in downtown New Bedford. Yes, yeah, right in downtown New Bedford. Okay. Yep. Speaking of which, the front cover mm-hmm. of Last Scene. Describe that for our listeners. Oh, it's it's the clock right near City Hall. Absolutely, yeah. right on the corner. Right on the corner, and um, yeah, uh, the clock and time, time itself is a big uh, it's a big theme in the in the story. Tell us a little bit about the story. Um, it's about these two detectives that are invest- investigating um, uh, these missing persons cases in uh, in downtown. And uh, just the uh, unusual circumstances in which these these men have disappeared. They're uh, they're they're of middle age, middle age to older, and um, and uh, when they do DNA tests, the DNA te- the the trail just sort of stops mm-hmm. at a certain point. It's like they're being literally snatched out of the air. So it's, right, yeah, it's. Uh, it was influenced by movies like Seven, uh, so it's sort of like Seven with a supernatural twist. You'll love this book, Last Scene by Adam Cray. 
Not only one of our own locals, but a dear friend. We absolutely love you. It's great to have you back out home. Here. Oh, it's great to be here, <laughs> Phil. It's really great to be here. <laughs> you don't get fresh scallops out in L.A. No. unless uh, you pay uh, 50 bucks of a dish for them. <laughs> no, I, I even have a new appreciation for rain. I mean, we, it, it doesn't rain much in L.A. It Let's doesn't. See, yeah, yeah. Tell our <laughs> listeners what you're doing out in L.A. Um, well, well, right now I, uh, I've, I've, I've been studying acting off and on and, um, and just been writing a whole lot. I, I have another, another, uh, uh, supernatural feature script that I've been working on and, um, and I'm also working on a short film, uh, here, uh, locally in New Bedford with, uh, Lance Gunberg. Isn't that it? That is awesome. Yeah. It's a World War II drama. It's a short film. You know, oh, I'll see that. They're, yeah. they're having a World War II, I believe it's World War II reenactment coming up. Maybe you can use them as uh, B-roll. That would be, a, that would be great. Huh? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Adam Cray, a filmmaker, actor living in Los Angeles, calling this area home. It is home for you. Parents are still here. Your fabulous grandmother. Yes, yes, my grandmother is. Your biggest uh, fan. Biggest fan, 96 years old 96 years young oh my yeah. gosh you know so wonderful i mean it is everyone's so proud of you uh locally you're making uh, some of these inroads here can you tell us when any of these projects are going to be ready or um well i mean uh I'm really not sure. As soon as I get funding to make the last scene film, I'll I'll yeah. be back here, uh, at, you know, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In the meanwhile, we want to get as many people to Gallery X mm -hmm. this coming Sunday, four o'clock. Uh, line up and uh, get uh, an autographed copy of Last Scene. <laughs> Adam Cray, who will be uh, here back in town and has so much to offer. And uh, is there any uh, new news about your acting career out there? Anything happening? Are you working on any projects out there, Adam? Um, not at the moment. No, it's it's a little slow. I've been concentrating on the writing um, because uh, it's 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 really the thing that I have the most control of. I mean, I can sit down and write at any time. Right. As far as acting, I. Um, I you know I have to wait till the gigs come along, um, but I I do have uh, some short films that are up on YouTube. If you do a search for Adam P. Cray, they'll come up. Mm -hmm. And if folks want to see Last Scene, mm -hmm. do they go to YouTube? YouTube, yeah. All right, can you do that? Yes, <laughs> already. That right now. Go to YouTube, folks. Uh, type in Adam P. Cray. It's uh, C R A Y, and uh, there. In the title, Last Scene. Yep. Last right Scene. Yep. And, uh, and you'll see uh, Mason Burns come up. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Moss. Andy Moss. Huh? <laughs> Any of those actors, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of you? Oh, huh? a little bit. A little, little, little here, a little there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, our ace newsman is also an actor. He's been in movies before, Dan McCready. He was looking forward to uh, meeting you. Oh, very as he, cool. As, uh, he, when he came in here taking photographs for a blog. In the meanwhile, folks, would you mark this on your calendar that this Sunday, 4 o'clock, Gallery X, we want to support Adam, and we want you to line up and purchase last scene you will love love this fabulous book and uh, hopefully this is going to lead to a full length you know yeah feature length and po uh, possible sequel possible book sequel i'm already thinking of ideas it's uh yeah really opened a can of worms it, it took a while to uh to build this this foundation in this world in the book but now the ideas are coming much quickly what doesn't take time yeah. what, you know everything takes time yeah but uh, in your business it takes an enormous amount of money and it's always about you know funding and do you ever uh, resort to things like kickstarter and things of that nature or no i haven't yet yeah. no i haven't tried it yet yeah. i try to go other avenues first yeah yeah of course. Did you look it up yet, Casey? It's um, it's. I'm seeing like three different ones. Oh. Hold on. Well, Adam will help you with that. Which one is it? As actor demo, last scene, homeland. Nope. Right nope. there. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay, here we go. All right. So it's just plain and simple last yeah. scene. Okay, we got that. Plain and simple. <laughs> instead of instead of like dot 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 everything is like added to it. Okay, I found it. All right. 
Click on that. You will be so amazed. Uh, tell us about the filming of Last Scene. Uh, it, it, it is such an encapturing film, and you did it in such a short amount of time. How did this all fall into place? Oh, it was... Uh it was i just i just kept the camera moving and, and i mean basically and and uh you know we, we uh, in in the camera movement there were transitions uh visual transitions so it it just seemed to it just seemed to work all work it work itself out i mean it did it did take a year off and on to cut yeah. i mean for that f- 5 minutes but uh i i enjoy it and it's gotten so, gotten some great response over the years yes adam did you write the dialogue i wrote er- everything yes Unbelievable! Yeah, and you shot it, you directed it. Yeah, shot, directed, edited, and uh, yeah, I mean the actors were great. They 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 got their lines like hours before, and uh, I know it. Yeah, yeah. I remember when they uh, lined up, sat down on the stage. I mean, it was just incredible to meet them. And uh, yeah. do you uh, give them uh, all the credit you wish? You know, mention who they are. Oh, Absolutely. Oh yeah, Chris. Chris. Pappas and Jedediah O'Berry, and uh, I made a quick cameo, and uh, and also Tommy Whalen. Tommy Whalen was uh, was uh, he played Jeffrey Waite, the the suspect that was being chased through the mill. Sure, so it was yeah, an, an amazing cast, and uh, for for being a project that uh, spontaneous project, it was really uh, really good how it worked to, worked out. And we're going to be showing it at Gallery X as part of part of the event okay so folks show up at four o'clock you'll not only have a chance to purchase a copy of last scene and get it personally autographed by adam p cray but uh, you'll also be able to see uh, last scene you don't want to miss this it's a great event any of you who are aspiring filmmakers you'll want to meet adam <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I just absolutely love you. You're, you're always, I can still see you sitting there with Gina at the diner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we missed the diner. Oh, I gosh. know it, buddy. We still talk about it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have any diners out in L.A.? or? Uh, here and there. Yeah. But, but nothing like the Shawmut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, my gosh. Let me uh, uh, just turn to you. Anything that you'd like to add? Any final thoughts? Anything I didn't ask you about last scene that you'd like our audience to take away from your radio appearance? No, nothing that I can think of, Phil. I think you pretty much covered it. I just, I just hope as many people as possible show up on Sunday. I'd like to meet them. And uh, on the uh, back cover, you'll uh, see a quote by Adam saying, What began as a short five-minute film has blossomed into the novel you now hold in your hands. I hope you all enjoy uncovering the mystery of last scene as much as I did. Adam P. Cray. We'll see you 4 o'clock. Gallery X, downtown New Bedford, folks. You don't want to miss this. Adam, God bless you, buddy. Thank you, Phil.